Gresham Estate, located in Anne Arundel County, Maryland, was built in the late 1700s. It is covered in weatherboards and sits on a partial granite foundation. The Gresham Estate is better known for being the home of Commodore Isaac Mayo, who owned the property in the early 19th century until his mysterious death in 1861. Mayo was a well-decorated naval officer in the U.S. Navy, known for his valor. He was the captain of Old Ironsides, the USS Constitution, and served in several wars, such as the War of 1812. He was elected president of the committee that decided to place the U.S. Naval Academy in Annapolis, miles from his home. It was said that Mayo killed himself at Gresham when he wrote a letter of resignation to President Lincoln over his opinion of the Civil War. Lincoln declined the resignation and relieved Mayo of his duties on the same day of the said suicide but there are questions about the facts of the alleged suicide. Mayo was not the only occupant of the property. Pirate William Cotter owned the property from 1693 to 1702. It was called Cotter's Desire, but not much is known of him. In between Cotter and Mayo, the Gresham family occupied the property. But a lot of the history of this location is not 100% accurate or can be 100% backed up due to the sheer age of the property. But the society has done a great job with what we have to go on. We were the first paranormal group to investigate this location. Here is the investigation of the Gresham Estate. As we were setting up, we captured this Class A EVP at the beginning of our investigation. Little did we know this was just the beginning of all the interaction we were about to receive. Staircases feed up to the back door. Myself, Jared, Jackie. The time is now 8:40 on Saturday, October 16th. This is also the room where I feel Commodore Mayo may have lost his life. Commodore Mayo, are you in this room with us? And has a thought that possibly. That was your last thought. Commander Mayor, sir. This room, I feel, is where your death occurred. Can you uh, confirm this? Sorry, that's me class. Let me apologize. I promised you guys earlier that we would communicate with you and give you a way to communicate back with us. So, let me tell you ways that we have to communicate in this room right now. Over here, if I can get my light up, there we go. I have a flashlight right here. So stay on this flashlight, then you can connect that circuit and the light turns on. Thank you. And you can turn the light off as well. Can you turn the light back off for us? Actually, leave the light on for a second because you can see what's lit up here. So right here in the center of the room, we have the K2 meter. <laughs> Thank you very much. So right here we have the K2 meter. This picks up energy. You've seen that you used it earlier. Or somebody used it earlier. And it's got different lights on it. They go from green, yellow, and red. You put energy into that, it'll light up. You take energy away, it goes back down on one. Right now, it's showing there's no energy there. Another device we have is this here. It's called a REM pod. As you see, if I get close to it, it wants to go off. I'll stay, we will stay away from it. 
We can touch that make it go off. And a unique one for the children here is a little toy ball. You see it wakes up. If I tap it gently, the dogs can play with it too. It's not just a child's toy. Mm -hmm. And actually, you may find this kind of funny depending on where, what time frame you are in. That is a cat's toy for a pet. That's the kind of crazy stuff we have in our day and age now. The cats have toys. Believe that? So, what is it? We have the flashlight, the K2 meter, the room pod, and we have the uh, cat toy, the ball. And a little bit later is a recorder. You can speak into that, and later on when I play it back or listen to it, I can see if, I, if I'm able to hear you. So if you feel comfortable just talking into that hand for something, that's okay as well. But we would like to communicate with you. Also, is there a William Cotter here? Is there a William Cotter here? Sir, there's not much history on you. And um, we'd like to get some from you. Um, you were here before a lot of people. You had a wife. Can you tell me her name? Can you tell me your wife's name, sir? to 
their discussion about what happened. What happened to you that day? Anything happen? Did you? I'm going to let you run through the trucker in a moment. May 18th, sir. Okay. Then you turn right off all the way to you for your team asking questions, sir. So, Commodore Mayo, there's mystery behind your death survey that nobody, your wife even said that uh, she didn't think it was the case. We want to know. We want to know. Okay. Lincoln sent people down here in fear that you were going to help us out. Did you hear that? Yes. Well, oh, yeah, right before this. It said yes. I heard that too, and I don't hear that. Here is the EVP captured on our digital voice recorder with amplified audio. Commodore Mayo, using the light, can you tell us if this is a room where you had died? The light flashed. I see it. A quick flash. And can you can you make it stronger? Can you confirm this with a strong light, sir? Is this the room that it happened? He doesn't want to confirm it. Did you? Yes, I heard that. Did you hear that? Yes. Whoa, well, yeah, right before this. It said yes. That was a child's voice, though. That was me. <laughs> now, I'm replaying what I heard. I light know. gone. Light comes on. All right, so. Uh, I, I'm I, goosebumps. So am I right now. After that, that, I see. It was a small silhouette right there. It was a small silhouette that froze you from when you were talking. Now, we hit on that, and it sounded like a child's voice, yes, came from that. I heard it. I definitely heard a voice. It was like, yeah. Are you? 
Are you one of uh, Mr. Mayo's children? Are you one of the children? If you're strong enough to where we can hear it with our ears, you're strong enough to go touch one of these devices, do it make them go off. Not that. <laughs> that goes off by itself. But you're strong enough to come out here and set one of these devices off. See, I, I'm going to... See that? That's all you have to do. There's two of them right here. There's one right there and there's one right there. Go ahead. Do it. We need to go back to, to the Commodore for a second. Go ahead. That needs to be set for. He was very prideful. Yes. And if he was attacked and killed, that's a shameful death for him. That's the movement. Commodore Mayo, sir, I understand that if you were attacked and you were killed, how devastating that is. And there's nothing that I or anyone else can say to apologize for other than to know that, that it was wrong. Definitely wrong. So, they won't. We agree. We agree on that measure, sir. I think it was wrong the way that the Union decided to like again. do the things that they did. Martial law in Baltimore, martial law down here in Annapolis, very close to your home. You have been a great contributor to the South and their cause in the Navy. Exactly. That's why I think he had you killed. Because little history lesson, and you wouldn't have known this because you were long gone before that, but the Union had a very, very strong advantage on the water. Um, Confederate South did not have the things that they needed to have a, a functioning Navy. And I think with your background, it would have helped, and I think he knew that. So, let us know. Let us know, did he do it? Did he have somebody come down here and do it? It's not that far away. Commodore Mayo. There's two very good on what? Commodore Mayo, come through that device. All you have to do is talk, and we'll hear you. Were you murdered, or did you commit suicide, sir? Who owned this 
property before you, sir. Can you raise your right arm? 
Thank you. 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 Thank Thank you. 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 Thank Thank 
blurred out from it upstairs. Uh huh. Wait a second. If he was a slave owner, he got murdered by two black men. What do you Is it reasonable to assume that all the slaves would have fled from the house because of the possibility of being accused of the crime? Possibly. Were all the slaves fleeing once you were attacked? Yes. That was probably right there. Oh, 
word. I tear the egg. Okay, that's a good answer. The amount of interaction and activity we received that evening, we had to make this documentary a two-part episode. Stay tuned for more.